how much an egg changes when you cook it? Most salts melt when they get hotter, like ice melting into water. But look what happens when I add heat to the egg. The colour changes. And the egg stops being so liquid and becomes solid. Why do you think that would be? Well, let's start by getting a fresh egg. Let's look inside the egg. The yellow part is the yolk, the bit that feeds the relevant chicken if the egg has been fertilised. The clear part is the egg white and it protects the yolk and gives extra nutri nutrition to the chicken. Egg whites are made of about 90% water with 10% protein dissolved into it. Yolks are 50% water and 30% fat and 20% protein. It's the egg proteins that make the change. You can see when you heat them or beat them or mix them with other ingredients. The protein in the egg are all curled up and twisted and they're stuck together in the shape of a ball. When you heat the egg proteins, they start to bounce around and smash into each other. All the bashing about breaks the bonds that keep the protein curled up. Then the uncurled proteins pop into other uncurled proteins and make new connections. But instead of connecting to the protein itself, they connect to proteins to each other. The web of proteins and water makes the egg change colour and get more solid. If you cook too long, they form bonds and get all rubbery and horrible to eat. Breaking the protein strings is called denaturing the protein. And lastly, most important question of all, can you change the egg back to what it looked before when you cooked it? Can you unscramble an egg? Well, once the proteins have been denatured, it's too hard to put them back together in the original order. But I have a very special trick in mind. If I feed my scrambled eggs to the chickens, their bodies will break down the scrambled egg molecules into smaller parts and put them back together to make a new raw egg.